Legendary actor James Earl Jones, renowned for his countless film roles and his iconic portrayal of Darth Vader's voice in the Star Wars franchise, has passed away. He was 93. Jones passed away on Monday morning at his home in Dutchess County, New York, surrounded by loved ones. With a career spanning over six decades, Jones' rich voice brought the menacing Darth Vader to life. He earned numerous accolades, including three Tony Awards, one for Lifetime Achievement in 2017, two Emmys, and a Grammy. In 2011, the Academy Awards honored him with a Lifetime Achievement Award. However, the late actor discovered his true sanctuary far from the glitz and glamour of Hollywood, settling in the charming village of Pauling, New York. Jones, who passed away on September 9th, quietly built up an impressive real estate portfolio in rural New York. According to property records, he actually owned 10 neighboring properties at the time of his passing. These holdings consist of both homes and undeveloped land, though it remains unclear whether Jones constructed additional structures on the sprawling acres during his ownership. Born in 1931 in Mississippi, Jones overcame a severe stutter as a child, going on to become one of the most respected actors of his generation. We can also see how far he came from his childhood home. James Earl Jones was born in Arca Butler, Mississippi in 1931, a region celebrated for its rich cultural heritage, including its influence on the blues and the civil rights movement. Jones was born by the light of an oil lamp in a shack here. His father, Robert Earl Jones, had deserted his wife before the baby's arrival to pursue life as a boxer and later an actor. When Jones was six, his mother took him to her parents' farm near Manistee, Michigan. His grandparents adopted the boy and raised him. Today, the house James was born in is a dilapidated shack, but it's a memory of his humble beginnings and the possibility of the American dream for all aspiring artists, actors, and performers. James Earl Jones made Dutchess County his home in 1970 after falling in love with the area during a road trip with a friend. Originally, he'd accompanied his friend to help search for a new home, but it was Jones who ended up purchasing the land. I liked it, he said in 2012, big trees, they were big enough to hug. Over the years, Jones became deeply connected to the local community where he also raised his son Flynn with his second wife, Cecilia Hart, who passed away from ovarian cancer in 2016. Jones contributed to fundraising efforts for his son's school, Poughkeepsie Day School, and participated in local amateur theater events, including a young playwrights festival. The town of Pauling, far removed from the glitz of Hollywood where Jones found fame, offered stunning natural beauty in its hiking trails as well as rich history. It also features several lakes, the nation's oldest municipality-owned golf course, and a beautiful nature conservancy. Records show that Jones slowly built his property portfolio in the area, acquiring 10 homes over the years. One home was purchased for $320,000 in 2000, while another was acquired for a modest $16,500 A year later, in 1994, Jones purchased a three-bedroom, two-bathroom home for just over $177K, along with another two-bed, one-bath home for $108,000 the same year. Throughout his time in Pauling, Jones achieved remarkable Hollywood milestones, including an Academy Award nomination in 1970 for his role in The Great White Hope, the same year that he settled into his new home. One of the ranches he bought was an acre of land, and the multi-purpose, multi-structure residential farmhouse was likely used to house his horses or as a workshop. His main house was built in 1980, featuring a contemporary design with a spacious land area and an interior spanning 4,420 square feet. This residence includes three bedrooms and four full bathrooms spread over two stories. The house that James has called home is extremely isolated and few photos exist of the interior. In fact, on Google Earth, you can see just how remote his main residence is. The estate's living areas were said to offer a grand living room with floor to ceiling windows and a modern fireplace, as well as a spacious kitchen. The outdoor spaces of his estate include beautifully landscaped gardens and expansive patios, perfect for enjoying the natural beauty of the surroundings. The large property allows for various outdoor activities and gatherings, complementing the home's charm. 
For James Earl Jones, this estate is more than just a residence. It represents a serene sanctuary and a reflection of his storied career and personal taste. After his passing at age 93 following a successful life and career, his multi-property estate in New York will maintain his legacy. That'll bring us to the end of today's video. Thanks for watching. I'm Kara. Follow me on Instagram to chat, and I'll see you in another video. Bye.